Christians around the globe are observing Good Friday as part of the Holy Week of Easter to commemorate their belief in the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Some faithful in the world go to extreme lengths to reenact Jesus' crucifixion as realistically as possible, from actually nailing their hands to crosses to being led through the streets by gangs of Romans. From the Philippines to Mumbai, images show worshippers playing Jesus Christ as they mark one of the holiest days in the Christian calendar. Somber ceremonies are carried out in public as crowds gather around to weep and recite prayers while celebrating the day Jesus Christ was crucified. According to the World Population Review, there are approximately 2.38 billion practicing Christians in the world, meaning around a third of the planet's total population is Christian. The public Good Friday processions, also known as Passion Plays, often take viewers through the Stations of the Cross, which are the series of events that led to the demise of Jesus, starting with his trial in the front of Roman Prefect Pontius Pilate and ending with his entombment according to the Bible. Reenactments of Jesus' crucifixion in the heavily Catholic Philippines are famous for their blood-soaked Good Friday rituals. In the images from San Fernando, Catholic zealots were seen nailed to wooden crosses, while others whipped themselves bloody in extreme displays of religious devotion. While most Filipinos went to church or spent the holiday with their family, thousands gathered in the villages around San Fernando City, north of Manila, to watch men punish themselves in a bid to atone for their sins or seek miracles from God. Dozens of bare-chested flagellants, wearing black shrouds and crowns made of vines, walked barefoot through dusty, narrow streets, rhythmically flogging their backs with strips of bamboo tied to ropes, their blood soaking the top of their trousers, and spattering on lookers. The practice took hold about 60 years ago as a form of religious vow by people seeking forgiveness, a cure for illness, and the fulfillment of their wishes. Some lay face down on the ground to be whipped and bitten by others with razor blades sometimes used to draw blood. The whippings are the opening act of street plays performed by devout residents. In the village of San Juan, a short wiry man with wild white hair playing the role of Jesus Christ and two others were dragged by neighbors dressed as Roman centurions to a raised mound where wooden crosses lay on the ground. As spectators filmed on their mobile phones, three inch nails were driven into the men's palms and the crosses were hoisted upright. Several minutes later, the crosses were lowered to the ground and the nails were pulled out. I will keep doing this while I'm alive for as long as my body is able to do it. That is my vow, said 67-year-old retired fisherman Wilfredo Salvado, who began playing the role of Jesus Christ in the mock crucifixion 16 years ago following a mental breakdown. This is nothing. Sometimes it heals after a day and then I'm able to wash dishes and bath, said Salvado talking about his wounds. Most people in San Juan say they watch the gruesome reenactment every year to learn about the suffering of Christ. They claim that if you are to merely read it in the Bible, you will not really understand. In action, it is clearer to see how Jesus suffered for them. Ten people were nailed or strung up on crosses at three crucifixion sites in San Fernando. At the biggest event, 63-year-old veteran performer Ruben Enahe had his hands and feet nailed to a cross for the 35th time in his role as Jesus Christ. Enahe remained nailed up for more than 10 minutes as stormy clouds gathered overhead. It then began to rain as he was carried on a stretcher to a medical tent where his wounds were bandaged. I feel no pain in my hands, but my body as a whole feels sore. The passion play was longer this year because we lengthened the script. Maybe that's why my body feels sore. And I hey say this year might be his last appearance as Jesus. I can't say if I will still be able to do it again next year because my body feels like it is about to give in. The extreme marks are frowned upon by the Catholic Church and health experts in the Philippines. The Philippine Health Department urged the public this week to avoid acts or rights that led to physical wounds and injuries. We join the pastoral guidance of our faith leaders, guiding all towards religious practices that are safe and healthy. But for devotees like 23-year-old Ian Batista, who has been taking part in the flogging since he was 15 and is one of the four flagellants in his family, the suffering was for a good cause. It's for my mother, Batista said explaining that she had surgery for an ovarian cyst on Monday and that he believed taking part will help her recovery. It's painful, but I will do this until my body gives up. 
Indonesian Catholics also participated in a reenactment of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ on Good Friday at the Church of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. In Hyderabad, India, Christians were photographed reenacting the crucifixion of Jesus Christ to mark Good Friday at the Holy Family Church. Devotees are seen carrying a large wooden cross as they don white robes and a mock crown of thorns. As they parade through the sandy streets, other worshippers dressed in red and yellow Roman costumes trail behind as they whip the individual playing Jesus Christ. Incredible images show the man beaten to the ground, laying atop the cross as he takes a lashing in a demonstration of belief and religious devotion. Although Christians make up only 2.4% of India's huge population, worshippers still put on the powerful displays that wind through the streets in public processions. Christians across Mumbai and Amritsar also took part in processions. Sri Lanka also celebrated Good Friday with a public display. A Catholic faithful was pictured carrying a large wooden cross during a procession at a church in Colombo. Black and white colors are worn by followers of Christianity throughout the period of Good Friday as they take to the streets while sharing the weight of the cross. The procession, starting at 2 p.m., is then followed by a crucifixion service in the Viharama Devi Open Air Stadium. In the old city of Jerusalem, Christians walk the way of the cross that commemorates Jesus Christ's last day on Good Friday. Photos showed thousands of worshippers solemnly traverse the Via Dolorosa towards the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, some carrying wooden crosses. The Via Dolorosa, a religious route within Jerusalem's old city, marks Jesus' path to the cross after judgment by Pontius Pilate. The Christians chant and sing hymns commemorating the sufferings of Christ in a ritual aligned with the Catholic calendar. According to All is Israel, the celebration of the Passion of Christ on Calvary in the Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre began at 7.15 a.m. The revered Church of the Holy Sepulchre is where Catholics, Orthodox Christians and even some Protestants believe Jesus was entombed before his resurrection on Easter Sunday. Orthodox Christians who follow the old Julian calendar will mark Good Friday on May 3rd. So, what do you guys think about the public displays and the reenactment of the crucifixion of Jesus? Have you ever attended one? Comment down below and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.